And after you leave a like, remember to smash the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet. And remember to hit the notification bell so every time I post a video, you can know right away. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. What's up, my YouTube friends, viewers, subscribers, everybody. Welcome back to another Banger Motivational video. And the topic for today is self-assurance. That means you have confidence within your own ability. It's different from self-confidence. Self-assurance means you are sure of your own ability. You know what you can do. You know your strength. You know what you can make happen. You're fully aware of what you can do. And now that I've said that, a lot of people are unaware of what they could do. They're not sure of whatever they could do or whatever they can make happen. But a person that has self-assurance is fully aware of whatever it is that they can do. For example, on the track and field team, the fastest person there, they know they can run very fast. If they know they're the fastest person, they have self-assurance. Because guess what? They're not nervous to do anything. If you're nervous, then that means you doubt your own ability. Because that guy that's like, say, the fastest, or he think he's the fastest, when he's go to race, he's going to run full speed because he, he know himself and he's like, well, I'm fast. He probably look around and see, oh, I'm probably faster than everybody else. So whenever Mark said go and he's running, he's running full speed because he knows he's the fastest. He only doubt himself when he sees somebody can run faster than him. That's the first example. So you have to be fully aware of whatever skills or talent that you got. And I've always said this, you have to develop your skills, techniques, all those kind of stuff and improving as a human being. That's why you can have self-assurance. That means you're fully aware of your own ability. Because if you know your skills, you know what you could do, then if somebody asks you a question, you have an answer to it. You're not, say, a know-it-all person, but you know pertaining to whatever topic that you're strong at. Because people that have self-assurance, they know their strengths and their weaknesses. But they don't really focus more on the weaknesses. They learn how to deal with their weaknesses and focus more on the strengths. Self-confidence is like being confident in whatever you're doing. So self-assurance, meaning the ability that comes with you as a human being. So whether you're naturally intelligent or you're talented, naturally talented, or fully skilled, whatever you can do, you believe in your own ability of what you can make happen. Anybody can come to you and ask you any questions and you have an answer on that topic. Because guess what? That's true leadership. People that know how to lead, there are self-assurance people because if, if you can't lead yourself, can you lead others? No. So with that being said is a person that's self-assurance know exactly who they are. And all my videos as pertaining to oneself, I always say this. The first step in knowing yourself is you have to be fully aware of who you are. Whatever ability you have, whatever skills you have, whatever techniques you have, you have to know what it is. And you have to exercise it. If you lack self-assurance, then you don't really know who you are and you doubt your own ability. That's like you being in class and a teacher call on you and you don't know nothing. Or you're whatever it is and you're scared to speak up. A person with self-assurance, they know the answer. Like say, they are always the first to stand up. They're outspoken. They want to say everything. They sound really smart and all those kind of stuff because they know like pertaining to whatever topic you throw at them they only answer and they're quick on topics that they that like they know about that's their strength so in order for you to be self assurance you have to know everything about yourself you have to know what you can do and what you cannot do because if you can't do something or you can't figure it out then you're you're not assured in that area if you understand what i'm saying because a lot of people always mix up uh, self-confidence and self-assurance. Self-confidence is you being able to go to a mall by yourself, like I've said, go to a movie, do stuff by yourself. Self-assurance is the ability that you have within you. That's a mistake people always, like people mixed up all these different stuff, but whatever ability you got, you can't know it if you never find it and you didn't exercise it. Because a lot of people have say different abilities but they refuse to share it because they tell them so oh, I, I i'm smarter than all these people i ain't gotta prove it i ain't gotta do this i ain't gotta do that no 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 
whatever skills and technique you have, you need to exercise it. If you don't exercise it, then you're going to lose your spot because every day people will grow up. Every day people learn new stuff. Every day people evolve. Every, like if you are, say, at a level and then you refuse to grow beyond that point, there's going to be somebody that's going to grow and pass you because guess what? You stop at one spot. So if you can say edit a video or do whatever, do whatever it is, or let me go back to track and field since that's the first example that I gave. Say you're a fastest person and you're like, you know, I don't need to train as hard as all of you because I'm already faster than all of you. Somebody else can train, not say harder, but they can keep training and training and training while you're slacking off and eventually be faster than you. So with that being said, in self-assurance, you have to keep up your skills. You have to keep doing it in order to, uh, say, stay evolving. That self-assurance, you keep doing it. You keep making it happen. You are fully 100% sure in your own ability. So let's say if I'm a YouTuber and I edit my own videos, let's say if somebody want to talk about editing a video then I'm self-assurance in that area because I'll be like, well, you do this, you do this, you do that. I, I can figure it out faster than somebody else that have no idea of what it is. Or even if it's like a different app, then I can sit down, play with it, and eventually figure out how to use it in order to edit whatever it is that need to be edited. Because self-assurance is, I would say it's a little bit more on Sol uh, solving problems based off your interest because like i've always say if you're interested in something then you will be able to figure it out if you can say figure it out or something's going on or something's happening and you can't move beyond that point then it's not meant for you it is not meant for you and if you've watched me over the years i've always say if it's meant for you it will flow according it may seem harder now but eventually when you keep thinking about it and you keep on playing with, if it's like say an app or something, you keep on playing with it, you'll eventually figure it out. And then you'll develop self-assurance. Then you'll be certain of your own ability. You're 100% confident in making anything happen in that topic or on that topic, I should say. So a lot of people are not self-assured because they like, they doubt themselves. And one of the worst things you can do is doubt yourself. Like if you can do something then i don't see why you need to doubt yourself or say if you're in school and a teacher asks a class a question and you know the answer they're scared to say the answer they probably know it but they're scared because maybe they're not outspoken or they don't have the confidence within themselves to stand up and you know say it because they're scared they might be wrong but you have to accept when you're wrong people that are self-assured always say in a learning process because like i always say life is a learning cycle every day we learn stuff you have to learn stuff in order to grow and in, in order to be better if you're not learning anything then how can you expect to move forward so if you doubt yourself then you don't got it because if you really got it then you wouldn't be sitting down contemplating oh should i do this or should i do that maybe you're worrying about what everybody else is gonna say but why would you worry about everybody else if you're certain that you can do it like back to the guy on the track and field if he's gonna race and he's fully aware that he's the fastest person he will not be nervous a person that's gonna race if they're nervous then they're probably like well, I don't know if I'm going to come first. Like in a race, everyone is aiming to come first, but everybody can't come first. But everyone is running at full speed trying to come first. You know what I mean? So with that being said is the only people that will be nervous within that race are the ones that are not sure if they're going to come first. They're going to be there sweating, uh, sitting down on your mark, oh, not ready nervous anxiety all these kind of stuff because they're not sure they're not confident within themselves to say you know what i don't know about all these people but i'm gonna give it my best listen it's best you give something your all and know that your all wasn't wait i said that wrong it's best you give everything and you lose knowing you give it your all and your all wasn't good enough instead of you not trying because not trying you already failed yourself even before you begin so you doubt yourself so you're not self-assured you don't got self-assurance because you're you're not confident within your own ability but a guy that's like look around he's like i'm the fastest one they call those people say they're always boasting about themselves or they're always talking about themselves because they know 
they know their ability. They know that what they, whatever they can do, whatever they can make happen, they know. That's th Those are self-assurance people that they don't need nobody to tell them, oh, you're good at this and you're good at that because they already know. They don't need validation from nobody. They don't need to go around and asking people for their opinion because people that ask for opinion, like I'm not saying it's bad to ask for someone's opinion or you want somebody to lecture you. That's not, I'm not saying that's bad. But if you are fully aware of who you are and what you can make happen, then you won't waste your time trying to see if you're right. Because if you're wrong, then you can learn. Like, we're all not perfect. And like I've said, if the fastest person there in the track and field, if that person slack off, eventually someone else is going to be faster than that guy. You know why? Because people are training every day. People are learning new stuff every day. And you have to keep up your expectation. You have to keep going because if you don't keep practicing, somebody else is going to be better than you. Somebody else is going to take your spot. That's just how it is. And that's life. Look at all the, say, rappers. As soon as they reach, like, say, at the top where they don't have to do a lot of shows and they don't have to drop album after album. Look at all these other rappers coming up and getting famous. That's because these ones at the top, they not say stop, but they sort of slow down. They're still at the top. But all these other people are coming up. So with that being said is you have to be fully aware of your own ability. And I've always said this in all my motivational videos. You have to know who you are. That's the first step towards knowing yourself. A lot of people don't know themselves. And that's why they doubt themselves. Because if you doubt yourself, then you don't know what you can truly do. You don't know what you can truly make happen. You're, you're unaware of everything what's going on. So why would you have self-assurance if you don't know who you are? If you're in the process of figuring out who you are, then I will say that's like the first step because you need to know who you are. If you don't, you're going to have a lot of problems. You will have a lot of problems. And no matter what you do or no matter what you face, there's challenges every day. So if you're worried about failing, you're worried about the wrong thing. Because let me tell you something. You have to fail. You have to lose in order to win. Life, like I've said, is a learning process. So if you do something wrong, the next step is figuring out how to make it right the other time. That's, that's you learning. If you're learning nothing, then you're not growing. You're not moving forward. So self-assurance, in order to develop that, you have to, say, do a lot of stuff and you have to lose. Like, if you figure out what it is that you're good at and then you exercise it, over time, you will develop self-assurance because you know whatever it is that you need to do. And eventually, whenever somebody asks you a question, you have an answer for everything because that's your profession. That's what you love. That's what you're interested in. And from all, all points, you got to an answer for anything. As soon as they throw a question at you, you got to an answer for that. Like, boom. Because that's, that, like, that's how you know you really got it. So if you're struggling with whatever it is that you're doing, then I would say maybe it's not meant for you or you're probably just still in the process of figuring out who you are or figuring out whatever it is that you need to do. But your ability. And I've always say this. If you guys watch me over the years or over the months, I've always say this. Or if this, if, if this is your first time watching me, then I've always say this. You have to know who you are you have to know what you're driven by people that watch me every day hear these choices of words over and over and over and over and over again because it's come from oneself the first step is you have to know who you are you have to know what ability you have and you have to know what you are driven by then you have to exercise whatever talent or skills or intelligence you have in order to grow that's how you would develop say Confidence within yourself and that's how you develop self-assurance because confidence is like uh, Being able to say go and do anything by yourself without worrying about what everybody else has to say and self-assurance is all about your ability That comes from within So if you're mixing up self-confidence with self-assurance then no, no, they're they're different Self-assurance comes from within you What you can make happen? So if you can't make nothing happen, then you doubt your own ability. And from like from you doubt yourself, I think you'll literally fail yourself even before you begin. Like you shouldn't doubt yourself. If you doubt yourself, then you really don't got it. 
I think that's just how it is, basically. Because people that don't know how to do something, then they doubt themselves. If I'm, say, a YouTuber and, say, people ask me something about, like, mechanic or welding, I'm not going to answer nothing because I don't know nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm not, say, assured in that area. I could probably sit down and try to think or try to come up with some solution or whatever the case may be or learn because I can learn different stuff and learn as I go because I'm like a problem solver but I'm not going to use my uh, brain cells to try to figure that out. No, I already invested here on YouTube if that makes sense. And I think mostly the reason why people doubt themselves is because they never exercise whatever gift they got because if you say you're good at something and say you stop like i've said if you're good at something i recommend you keep doing it that's how you can get better because like the more you do something the better it is you get at it and the more confidence you will have notice the kid in school that's like really good at maths notice as soon as it, you're in math class and the teacher asks a question that kid is the first to, to answer the question if you put that kid in say chemistry he he or she ain't gonna be the first one to answer because like people are like say strong in different things people are people can figure stuff out faster like in different things so i wouldn't recommend like people are stupid or whatever the case may be no if you can't figure it out then you're not interested that's just how i view things because like if you don't know some stuff or you can't figure it out, people will say, oh, you're stupid. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're that. But I don't really think that's the way it is. I think you're not interested because if you're not interested, then you won't want to figure nothing out. You're going to sit down there. You look around. You yawn. As soon as you're somewhere that you're interested, then boom, you're wide awake. You're, you're ready to go. You're ready to start figuring everything out. You want to learn. So when you know you a bit when you know your ability that you have you're fully confident in doing anything within that area if somebody want to say learn you want to be the teacher because let me tell you something about leadership if you say you can like leadership depend on how you think how you speak how you carry yourself because like people can detect leadership depending from those who are acting like they're leaders. Because people that know how to lead will automatically have willingly followers. Because if you know how to put words together and you know how to make people understand. Because what, what I notice is not everyone can be a teacher. Like if you ask somebody to teach you something, they tell you based off their own knowledge. Not everyone know how to go down in details and tell you like what you need to know. Like, let's say you want to learn how to drive a car and you probably can say, ask your mom. She probably like, oh, you just put the car in a, from a P and you put the car in D, then you drive, you turn left, you turn right. And then when you want to reverse, you put it in R. Then when you park, you put it back in P. You ask your dad, then he's going to tell you, you sit in the car, you put your seatbelt on, you do this, you check your mirrors, you do this. Like people like know how to explain different. That's like true leadership. A person that know how to lead, depending on whatever area that they're in, they know exactly like what to say, how to say, like they help you figure stuff out. That's like leadership. Like some, especially like some teachers notice teachers only teach the subject that they enjoy, they love. So with that being said is that's a person that's like self-assured. I think all teachers are self-assured in the subject that they teach, whatever sports you play in school, you're self-assured within that sport because that's the ability that you got and you, you love it. And from you love something, you'll be extremely good at it. So in order to develop self-assurance, you have to know what it is that you love. You have to know what it is that you want. And you have to be like willing to exercise your gifts. Like we're all driven in different ways. And I think we're all unique in our own ways. If you try to be like somebody else, it won't be the same. You won't get the same results because you're not that person. So that's like saying, if you want to be like the fastest person, you may not be the fastest person, but if you act like you're the fastest person and then someone put you to the test, you will lose. 
life like life is like that the only way you may end up becoming the fastest person if you train every day even if not every day you train you put the time you put the work you put the effort in that's how that's like you exercising your gift in order to be better and better and better and better and better so when they put you next to say like the fastest person on the team if you know that you're fast then you're self-assured you may not say win but at least you give it your all thinking that you're gonna win because you're self-assured and self-assured is like confidence within your ability so no matter what it is no matter what it is your ability may be different from mine that's just life and that's just how it is if you doubt yourself then you don't got it and i rec like i strongly recommend do not doubt yourself. If, if if you love something, don't doubt yourself. Because like you literally gave up even before you even started a try. That's life. And from you give up before you try, when you try, you will eventually fail. Because you already failed yourself mentally before you even did it physically. That's why if you notice whenever you're doing something. And you say, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Blah, 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 blah. They say all these negative thoughts start coming in. By the time you do it, you fail. Because guess what? You already failed yourself mentally. And from you fail yourself mentally, when it's time for you to do it physically, you won't even put your all in because you already failed yourself. That's why when you fail, it's like, oh yeah, I know what I was about to fail. That's a person giving themselves closure before they even started to try. It's because they lack self-assurance. They don't got it. So it's like, what's the point of saying, giving it my all when I already know I'm going to fail? But a person that's self-assured, they know their strength. They know their ability. Don't think that that person don't got weakness. Like everybody, like if there's strength, there's also weaknesses. And being self-assured is knowing full well of your ability and the risk that comes behind it. But you're confident enough in focus on your strength, knowing at any time, because you already know how to control and deal with your weaknesses. But still, you know, your strength needs to be stronger than your weaknesses. If your weaknesses is stronger than your strength, then you will lose. Doesn't really matter how you put it. Doesn't really matter what you're doing or how you want to see it. If your weaknesses is more stronger than your strength, it makes no sense. You will lose over and over and over and over and over again. So in order to develop self-assurances, like I've said, exercise your ability. There's something in you. I don't know if you find it as yet. You may be in the process of figuring out or you already figured it out. But my advice to you is exercise it. Aim to be better every day. Don't give up. Because the moment you start lacking off or slacking off, I should say, the moment you start slacking off, somebody else will be better than you. Because every day people are evolving every day and people are in the same area as you and one thing everybody want to be at the top so if you have not yet arrived i recommend you keep going because if you slack off somebody else is going to take your spot that's just how it is and that's and that's just how it's been because like people are working harder than some like if you say you want to become a youtuber and you're posting once every month you have somebody else posting two times every month because that person wanted back more more than you. And then that person that's posting two times a month, you got somebody else posting four times a month. You got some people posting three times a week, two times a week. Like everybody wanted better than the others. And the only way you're going to truly get it is you have to want it more than the other guy. That's just how it is. That's life. In order for you to fully achieve something, you have to want it better than the other person. Like the other competition, the other people that's like doing it less than you, you have to make sure you're doing more. And being creative. Exercise your own ability. It's yours. Why you're gifted with something but you don't want to be the best version of it? Why did God gifted you something and you're not willing to share it? You're not willing to use it. Why are you naturally talented but you're not doing anything with it? You're, say, naturally intelligent. But you're not trying to figure nothing out or trying to lead or not trying to do nothing. So you're sitting down with your gift thinking, oh, I can do this and I can do that. I don't need to do nothing. No, that's you losing. You're failing. You may sit down and you may fold your head up with lies. Oh, I'm good at this. I'm good at that. No, 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 no. In reality, 
you're at one spot. So if you're aiming, like say you're exercising your gifts and then you stop here, then you think, oh, I don't need to know nothing more. I'm good here. No, you got other people aiming up and they will eventually pass you here. Because you, 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 you are self-assured. You think, oh, I'm self-assured. I know this. I don't need to exercise. No, 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 no. Self-assurance is you're 100% confident in your ability and you keep exercising, you keep improving, you keep developing. That's life. That's human nature. That's how you develop. That's just how it is. So if you lack self-assurance, I recommend stop doubting yourself. Start practicing. Start exercising your gifts, your skills, your intelligence, your talent. Exercise it. Put yourself in the area that you want to do it. So that mean, so that way when somebody asks you a question, you know, or people reach out to you because they know that you got the answer to it. If you notice that no one is coming to you for nothing, then that's because you're you don't have what they're looking for. Because people, if people are in need of something or they want to figure something out or they want to learn something, they know who to go to. Because people, like I've said, is different in their own different areas. So say YouTubers, I say in the same city as me or whatever the case may be, um, just started and they don't know certain stuff, then they probably will come to me. And let's say me, if I want to know something and I have connect with somebody else that's like doing YouTube and that's like above me and I want to know something, I go to them. Like people have different people that they will go to for different things, if you know what I mean. So stop doubting yourself. You you can develop self-assurance. You have to know what it is that you're good at. And on top of it, you have to exercise whatever it is that you're good at. That's just life and that's just how it is. Stop doubting yourself. Nope, it's not worth it. If you doubt in yourself and you doubt your own ability and you doubt your skills, then you lack self-assurance. Because you're not assured of what you can do. You don't know what you can make happen. That's why you lack it. So, I hope this message was useful for some of you guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. I will be back doing more stuff. You go enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I post daily on them.